Hello once again my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Camp Buddy. Last episode, our boy almost got freaky with our best friend and I was about to be pissed. Cause, um, I think I've seen that scene exist on Tumblr somewhere, and knowing that it's reality, I did not want that to happen. So luckily it didn't happen. Ugh, oh, I can't believe we didn't make it to the first dinner serving, now we have to wait for the next one. Well... Well, I hate to say this, but I told you and Yuichi to stop playing around, we could have made it here earlier. Huh? Did you just seriously in your face us, Mr. Perfect? Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway. Uh, anyway, maybe we can help Sir Aiden with kitchen work. That should speed things up a little. There you go again, Natsumi. Give yourself a break at least for today. Anyway, uh, anyway what's taking Katero so long again? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly why. He must be fa- Not at all! I know what you're about to say, Yuichi, and that's not it! <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, here he is. <laughs> So, what parts of me did you think about in the shower? Well, wow, wolf boy, talk about conceited. Anyway, uh, anyway, I'm sorry for I'm sorry I'm late again. I was really dirty from all that wrestling. Don't worry. No worries, Kate. Dinner isn't ready, anyways. We're just waiting here. Ooh. That's a relief, though. I hate to admit, I'm feeling really hungry. Um, hello. Huh? Uh, what are you idiots doing here? Um, we just wanted to talk with Katero. If you dorks are here again to toss trouble to Katero, then back off. No, of no, 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 nothing like that. Indeed. We assure you, our intentions are completely free of hostility. If anything, we're here to request a peace treaty with you people. Seriously? You think we believe you guys after everything that's happened? I bet you're just accomplices to whatever Taiga is scheming right now. Come on, guys. We helped you out in your little investigation. Hmm. They did tell us the truth the other day. Oh. But Wolfboy is right. How can we make sure that you guys aren't doing Taiga's bidding as we speak? Hello? Hello? How can we be scheming with Taiga if he's locked us out of our cabin? What? Uh oh. This has tea written all over it. Huh? What? what do you mean? Taiga locked you out of your cabin? Is that why you guys look so upset during the activity? Well, Seto did say he heard them. He heard them arguing before. That's why we were hoping you guys would listen to us so we can explain better. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear what you guys have to say. <laughs> I'm watching you too closely. You got that one wrong move, and I'll beat you two to a pulp. Thank you. Uh, thank you. We guarantee you our motives are benef uh, benevolent. So yeah, you see, we're actually here to ask you guys a favor. Huh? After all the trouble you, your sad excuse of a leader got us in, you dare to ask us a favor? I get that you're all still mad about that, but we're telling you. We're just as disappointed. Mm. Taiga was distressed that we spread information about Sir Girl's photograph to all of you. He said that we helped you bust him for that camera issue thingy. I mean, like, we didn't sell him out. Oh. We didn't even know what he was doing in the first place. If we did, we've, we've even try and cover for him. When he found out about that, he locked us out of our cabin. And what's more is, he's saying we aren't friends anymore. Why are you even friends with him in the first place? You guys deserve better. He wasn't like this at all when we first met him. Something about him has changed. He's no longer the same Taiga that we adored and respected. It's quite the complex narrative. Uh, it's quite the complex narrative, really. It might just take a while to properly explain. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're here to listen. Well, <laughs> alright then. I guess I can tell you the fabulous story of how I came to grace this camp with my presence. When I first started, I was in the same group of campers as Taiga and Lee, so like, obviously we had to stick together. Hashtag besties. I fucking- oh my god, Edward. I- he even got curly hair like me, I'll just dye it pink. I'm so fabulous! Yes, you are. My entrance to this camp was so fabulous! As I walked through the arc, everyone was like, in awe with my OOTD. What? What the hell is an OOTD? Ew. Ew, you people really don't have any fashion sense at all. It means outfit of the day, doofus. That's OTD. Um, because you don't do the of. But I guess you're... I don't know. Bitch, get your algorithm. <laughs> you Get your fucking... Is that algorithm? Is that the word? Uh, God, what's an algorithm? What's an adjective? I don't know. As I was saying... I pulled off my best look for the day for my grand entrance. I even posted on an Instagram. <laughs> on fucking Instagram? What is, what is the next one? Snapcrap? Oh, I have no coke. Fuck. 
It got over 5 million likes. Oh. It was beautiful. It was perfect. I looked like Linda. <gasps> <laughs> I was beautiful. I was perfect. I looked like Lindsay Evangelista. I was a model. You're perfect. Some You're beautiful. Them. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. Oh my god. Whoever created this game is a fucking saint. <laughs> And the paparazzi just couldn't stop taking pictures of me since I was like the most elegant being they have ever seen. They're all like, Edward Fitzpatrick, your smile. <laughs> Edward Fitzpatrick, your smile is beautiful. Valentina, your smile is beautiful. I know these references, honey. Edward? <laughs> Edward, that story is absolutely fabricated. You tripped into a mud puddle when you first entered the game. <laughs> oh, not looking like Linda Evangelista anymore now, are you? In addition, it does not have any relevance to their current inquir uh, inquiry. Uh, Lee, please. I was trying to have a moment here. Yeah, if, bitch. Edward was trying to be like, uh, it look beautiful, look perfect, look like Linda Evangelista, look like a model. Besides, that's like how I choose to remember it after all. <sighs> Just explain the factual occurrences, please. Fine, but like, it's like not so fabulous at all. It's actually like a total letdown. At first, everything was alright, but then like, I tried to make some new friends like any new camper would normally do. Hashtag me. So one time at lunch, I- so one time at lunch, I tried to sit with a group, but like, as I sat down, they totally like got up and left. I thought they maybe just like finished eating and I didn't think about it that much, but then while I was eating, someone threw yogurt in my hair. Oh. My they started God. calling me names like Mick Sissy Pants and like Pantsy Nancy. I didn't even know them, and like more importantly, they didn't even know me. Oh my gosh, that's that terrible. sounds horrible. Bitch, <laughs> at me though. Me, if I came out in the fourth grade, and I just decided to be like, here I am, bitches. Except that didn't happen. I came out fresh out of high school, and nobody was like, we don't fucking care. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I know, right? How could I be so rude to someone so fabulous? Ed, please, proceed to the point already. I am, I am, sheesh. So yeah, one time the Scoutmaster made us do an activity. It was a physical activity, and you know me, I'm not really that sporty, so I was like at the bottom of the list. Nobody wanted me on their team just because I couldn't throw a stupid ball into a basket. The campers started mocking me, saying stuff like, go back to playing with your Barbie dolls, which like, really hurt my feelings. That not I that I hate people with those. Fabulous. Oh wait, <laughs> oh my god, that's so not fabulous. Yeah, true. Not that I like hate playing with those, but like they made it sound like it was like the wrong thing to like. I didn't think I could get any worse, but then some of the boys dragged me into a hidden corner and started beating me up while calling me names. What? That really happened? Why didn't a scoutmaster stop them? There wasn't anyone there at the time, and they said that they'd make it worse if I called for help. I was about to start crying when a miracle happened. My knight in shining armor, my hero Taiga, arrived. He came in and beat the snot out of those bullies like it was nothing. And I'll never forget the words that he said. How dare you bully someone just because of who they are. <sighs> <laughs> that does sound exactly like Taiga we know. Yeah, what the heck happened to him? Actually, when Taiga joined, it, he wasn't anything like he is now. He was kind of like you, Keitaro. Eh? What? He was like me? What do you mean? Well, he was just like really friendly and kind, even cheerful most of the time. I thought Matsumi and Yuichi would have told you this. They used to be roommates after all. Mm, let's we see. did tell them that we knew about Taiga, but to be honest, I didn't get to know Taiga well enough to understand why he'd end up doing those things. Over the last few years, I've been I've been focusing on helping the Scoutmasters however I could. I didn't really make friends with the other campers until this year. Yeah, it was pretty much like that for me too, except for the helping part. It's only when Frogboy joined the camp that I started really getting to know people around me. Well, you guys obviously missed out on a lot about Taiga. After he defended me from those bullies, Taiga became a hero. But that made him but that made him some enemies too, which led to that dreadful event last year. Well, well I've heard the story from Natsumi and Yuichi. I remember Natsumi told us that Taiga was exposed as a cheater during last year's event, which ended up in serious fistfight. I, don't I still don't understand what Taiga's motives were to do that for, for doing that. Doesn't make sense that he'd go that far just for our team to win that prize. Mm. It makes sense now that Taiga had m made some enemies even before that event. But I really want to know what happened to Taiga's point of view. Uh, 
It's not fair to just listen to what one side has to say. There we go. Uh, so what happens when you eat when you record people? Get too gassy. It's not fair to just listen to what one side has to say. Lee and I promised Taiga that we wouldn't let anybody know about it, but I think it would help him if you guys did. He just wants to be understood and accepted after all. Listen, he maybe want to be understood and accepted, but I am never going to accept him. I don't care if by the end of this game he becomes the sweetest thing, like he becomes like sweeter than candy, and you all know I fucking love sweets. But I'm never going to accept Taiga. Just know that. Is there something that we still don't know about Taiga? Well, Taiga was really just a victim. At least if we're talking about what happened last year. How was that so? All the campers were convinced of Taiga's mishaps back then. Well, well, if you think about it, why did Scoutmaster Yoshi not take direct action to rebuke Taiga last year if he really was responsible for that scandal? Hmm. Let's now that see. you mention it, if Taiga really was the one making trouble in the camp, Scoutmaster Yoshi would have done something about him. As I said before, Taiga had made some enemies while defending Lee and I from our bullies. And that brings us to the time of the first sports competition. Remember how the five of us were in a group, Natsumi? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were teammates with Taiga, Yuichi, and Lee. Taiga wanted the team to win so much, but then we didn't even get to compete because we won by default. Huh. <laughs> then it turned out that the guy actually threatened and even beat up one of the members of the team we were up against. Absolutely not. That's where everyone was wrong. While it's correct that Taiga did want to win the prize, he did not perpetrate the crimes he was accused of. Really? Really? But everyone was so sure it was Taiga. That's just it! They were so mean! They convinced everyone that it was Taiga when it didn't even do anything wrong! Those jerks even beat up their own teammate and made it look like Taiga was the one who did it by forcing that poor guy to lie! For real? Are you sure it really wasn't Taiga? It sounds- it seems like something he would do. Ah, No way. He would never hurt someone who didn't deserve it. Back then, at least. Anyway. Anyways. To continue our story, everyone assumed that Taiga had cheated to win, and his enemies used that as yet another excuse to physically assault Taiga. We tried to defend Taiga back then, but unfortunately, they overpowered us with their brute strength. They attacked you both too? That's awful. I know, right? And then Taiga, bless him, tried to fight back, but they just made that just made it worse. He accidentally really hurt one of those jerks. They deserved it, but it was too late for Taiga at that point. Sir Goro was there, and oh my god, did he start flipping out. <laughs> oh yeah, I kind of remember that old man raging and yelling that day. It was way worse than he was at the beach, too. Indeed. Indeed. And to make matters worse, Sir Goro was hosting some visitors from the surrounding city who were quick to spread the incident throughout the town. Before we knew it, people were leaving the camp left and right. And then it seemed like the ones who left blamed every bad thing that happened on Taiga. Like, he was the one who messed everything up. <sighs> we would be constantly discovered Taiga bandaged up and beaten, his body covered in marks and wounds. We were certain that those bu bullies were assaulting him shandalously up. Uh, clan clandestinely? I don't know how to spell English, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know how to speak English. But we refused to allow us to inform the Scoutmasters. Mm. Poor Taiga. I had no idea that all happened to him. That's terrible. Did nobody do anything to help him? Unfortunately, those these antagonists were quite clever. They were rarely present at the same time as the Scoutmasters and therefore were never caught. One time, finally, when we attacked alongside Taiga, Scoutmaster Yoshinori was able to finally witness the assault. Mm. He immediately evicted the perpetrators and apologized to Taiga for believing him to have committed the prior crimes. Oh. So that's why Scoutmaster Yoshi is so lenient with Taiga. He knew the truth. Totally. Yeah, we were there when he encouraged Taiga to give up and move past those th through those Hold on. We encouraged Taiga to get up and move past those his bullies. I don't want to make this game into an amorous. <laughs> God fucking damn. Yeah, we were there to encourage Taiga to get up and move past those bullies. Scoutmaster Yoshi saw that Taiga sincerely wanted to be a better person. Well. Seems that Scoutmaster Yoshinori would not allow Taiga to continue staying in the camp and even forbade, forbade him from joining again at first, in order to spare him the threat of his aggressors. But Taiga begged Scoutmaster Yoshi for one more chance, begging to let him enlist again for the next summer. We promised to come with him and help however we could. Oh. I thought this year would be different if Taiga would get a fresh start, but things turned out so differently. 
Tyga's behavior started to change and he became who he is now. And now seeing Tyga like this, we can't help but worry about him. Oh, no. I'm afraid that now he's pushed even Lee and I away. He might do something stupid to hurt himself. No matter what we say, he just won't listen to us. I know it's selfish to ask you for help, especially after all the, all the harm Tyga has caused you and your friends, but we don't know who else to turn to. We're hoping that you can talk some sense into Tyga. We generally just want to get along with everybody else too. We're tired of going along with Tyga's whims. We don't want him to destroy himself and let everyone hate him like this. He's our dear friend and I'm, I'm sure all of you can understand how it feels to see a friend struggle this hard. Yeah, bitch, but this is my first time meeting him, so like, I'm okay with not... I mean, obviously, is gonna be like, yeah, let's help him out. But me, I'm just like, nah. We're trying to stay in our lane. That bitch can stay in his lane, but nah, he just decided to swerve in and try to cut us off. And now, bitch, I'm not having it. But knowing Katero, he's gonna be like, yeah, sure, we can help him. I understand. I understand. <gasps> Ooh. I understand, but as much as I want to help Taiga, I'm not sure if there's anything I can do. Well, I mean, he still wants to help, but... I just read that second part. I'm just like, ooh, is she, he's saying no. But yeah, he hates me so much. I'm afraid he won't listen or worse. He'll try to do something to hurt me too. That is true. I can totally get that. After all the things he did and said to you, it's only natural you'd feel that way after all. But then we were informed that Taiga's expulsion was lifted due to your request. We knew you sought to aid Taiga as much as we do. Mm. Somebody had tried to understand Taiga after last year's incident, he wouldn't be the way he is now. I think Taiga enrolled at Camp Buddy again for a reason. Maybe he wanted to redeem himself and hoped everyone would accept him, but he just doesn't know how to make it happen. I'll do my best. But I can promise you that I can try and talk him talk to him about all of this. Katero, you are going to get your neck snapped. <laughs> Thank you, Katero. That means a lot to us. My apologies. We were wrong from the start to have judged you so negatively. What do you think about? I'm not this? sure about all this. But that's okay, we can't wait. For now, we'll be patient and let Taiga have time to think about what he's done to. But, we just wanted to know if you'd be willing to try and help us out. I guess I can try talking to him? Thank you, Katero, that means a lot to us. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll realize one day that all of us still care for him despite everything he's done. <sighs> How I wish that would happen. Thank you. Thank you for hearing our concerns, Katero. We'll let you guys indulge in your meal now. We apologize for imposing on you. It's alright. It's alright, Edward, Lee. I'm glad that you both trusted us like this. Thank you again, Katero. Get well soon. I can't believe that just happened. I, bitch, I can't believe that that happened too. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Shit. I can't believe that just happened. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, to think that Edward and Lee would approach us for help? Stupid. I guess. Now that they finally figured things out, those two are completely stupid. I just wish they had realized this stuff sooner so things wouldn't be so messed up in the first place. Getting all sentimental like that doesn't suit you at all, Wolf Boy. Hey. hey, I'm not trying to be all cheesy or anything. All I'm saying is that this is what probably needed to happen for them to see that Katero really is in the right here. Hmm. But that still doesn't change the fact that Taiga has caused so many problems for all of us, especially for you two. That's over now, Hunter. Now is going to be kicked us out. No one is going to get kicked out of the camp. Besides, isn't that what Katero wanted for all of us? Yeah, that's right. You're right, Natsumi. We're finally starting to really get along with everyone. All that's left is Taiga. I guess it's worth a shot if it means that we can all have fun together for the rest of the summer. Ugh. Ugh. There goes my tummy again. Can't we just go and have dinner now? I'm starving. We should go now. Ah, that's right. Sorry I must have finished cooking the second batch of food. Let's go. We can continue this talk while we eat. Yes. Because we're a hungry, hungry hippo. Come in. What? Hi. Oh, hey Yoshinori. Excuse me, sir. Yuri told me to report to your office. Yes, I wanted to conduct a meeting with you all. Where are the others? As a matter of fact, they said they'll catch up soon, sir. Yuri needed Aiden's help with one of her collections. Anyway. anyway, one of her collections. Oh my god. God. Yuri also needs to chill. <laughs> anyway, is a meeting about the camp's current bills? If so, I have them here. They just came in the mail today. Great, another problem to deal with. Let's just wait for the other scoutmasters before we start the meeting. Sir. Sir, I didn't mean to intrude, but is there something wrong? You seem like you're upset. Are you still what ha worried about what happened the past few days? No. No. This is about a separate matter. 
I'm just concerned with the state of the camp right now. If we don't get more campers for the next summer season, this place is going to close. What? Next summer season? Does that mean- Yes, Yoshinori decided to continue Camp Buddy for the foreseeable future. Therefore, this year will not be the last batch. Oh. Fuck. At least we are able to convince Goro enough to keep the camp open for another season, even with all the drama that happened. Sir Goro! Aw, look at the Don't fucking touch me, you clod! <laughs> hey. Hey. You don't know how happy I am. Hey, Grants, we're here for the meeting. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, those two are secretly fucking. <laughs> oh, my. Are, are we interrupting something? Yuri, Aiden. Isn't this you guys aren't going to believe this. The girl said that it'll keep the camp open for as long as he can. <laughs> so you told him already, huh, Dad? Yuri. Yuri, you knew about this? That's right. Yeah, Dad and I talked about it last night. Hmm. What happened, sir? What made you change your mind? Well, I believe you can answer that yourself, Yoshinori. Your performance as a scoutmaster these past few weeks has been nothing less than exceptional. Exceptional. Exceptional? What kind of word is exceptional? Come on, English lesson. <laughs> you have more than redeemed yourself. Not only have you actively guided the scouts and taught them valuable lessons of companionship, but you've also had the courage to stand up to me and prove just how deserving you are of your position. You truly carried on the legacy, and I'm depending on you to pass it on for many generations to come. Sir Goro. Oh, bow. Yes, yes, do the hop bow, bitch. Yes. Thank you so much. Congrats, Yoshi. It looks like all your hard work finally paid off, huh? I appreciate it. It's all thanks to you and Yuri, too. I wouldn't even have been possible without your help. Aww. Aww. Don't mention it, Yoshi. You know, we're always here for you. <clears throat> Sup, Gramps? Want to join the group hug? Anyway. I've gathered you all here for more than just this good news. Every good news comes with bad news. There's something Yuri and I have not told you yet. Well. After some consideration, I've decided to be upfront with you all, so listen up. This camp is in dire financial situation. Yeah, we know, because we uh, uh, from what we've heard, there was like no bit, like money going into the electrical bill from like one of the other uh, chapters. Uh, the fact of the matter is that we lost too many scouts and our reputation has plummeted to far down, too far down for us to reasonably expect to get more. Is this because of the incident last year? Believe it or not, that only played a small part in the current situation. As you may know, we have at least three branches of Camp Buddy, including this one, with the other two managed by me and my business partners. However, But those two bran other branches did not open for this year's summer season. Our stockholders and sponsors have decided to end the contract and any possibility of renewal. How did that happen? What happened, sir? I thought the other branches have been doing well all these years. Well... That's not true, Yoshi. It's the reason why Dad left, let me help you out here in the first place. It's because the other branches are already closed down, including the one I used to work in. What? What? In all this time, it sounded like the place was the worst performing one. Just what the heck happened? As shameful as, shameful as it is to admit, it is due to my own mismanagement. I was not able to or oversee the camps properly. Seems that my business partners did not share the same vision I had for Camp Buddy. And another part of the problem is that I wasn't as enthusiastic as I used to be. Mm. The lack of passion from their leaders and scoutmasters affected the camp's performances, delivering an underwhelming experience for the campers. And this chain of neglig uh, negligence continued until our campers lost their entrance, resulting in fewer and fewer recruits as the years went by. Furthermore. Last year was the last batch for the two other branches. Continuing to host those camps was no longer feasible. The main reason we had so many visitors last year at the event was that you organized was because I was trying to convince our sponsors that help to help us continue our cause. Oh, that's fucked! Oh, so that whole entire thing just totally, like, plummeted. They were just like, these two other places are not doing as good. Let's see how this one lasts. And, like, if they're doing good, then cool. We can just keep sponsoring them. Oh, but if the once they saw that fist fight, oh, honey. That's a bad time right there. I failed at that moment and disappointed everyone. Silence. We've already talked about this, Yoshinori. You did the best you could, even without my guidance. What happened last year is not just your shortcoming. It's mine as well, and all of us are responsible for it. That's true. When Dad told me he was about to close this branch as well, I just couldn't let it end like that. 
I know I had to convince him not to give up on this dream. Never give up. Camp Buddy isn't just your own dream anymore, sir. It's ours, too. Yeah. Right, and this place isn't just our dream. It's our home, too. I agree. We're a family here. Nothing can take away our home like from us. This is I have no like words to describe how proud I am of all of you. Uh, I'm not a bae, so, like, doing Goro's voice is, like, really hurtful on my voice. God damn it. Dad. All right. All right, listen up. I've already made my mind to continue, Camp Buddy, and I've gathered you here for that reason. We're going to do whatever it takes to keep our home and make this family as big as we can. We'll have a compre uh, we'll have a comprehensive meeting first thing in the morning. I need all of you to have a clear mindset to come up with fresh ideas and a solid plan to achieve our goal. Is that clear, my Scoutmasters? Yes, sir. Oh, cool. I mean, just bring me and Natsumi in. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> that tried to be a burp and it did not work. Ugh, I'm so full. I don't think I can eat anything else if I even tried. Well, well, you do always eat more than you should, Hiro. I can't help it. You know how good Bro Aiden's cooking is. Oh, uh, we've had quite a long day to get day again today, haven't we? Want to call it a night, Ketro? Um, I want to go outside for a walk. I want to visit Yuki. I do want to visit Yuki. I want to see how if she's still grumpy. You guys go ahead. I'll just check up on Yuki real quick. Nope. We're not going there. With, you're not going there without me. All right. All right, you two. We'll wait you back for you at the cabin. Ah. Hey. Hey, are you sure you want to go visit Yuki? She might still be in a bad mood like earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind Yuichi. I just want to make sure she's doing fine before we go to sleep. <sighs> All right. I warned you, though. Don't blame me if she acts up again with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Let's go then. Oh, uh, why? Why do I have this oh. feeling of? Oh, there she is. I was like, why do I have this feeling that she's not going to be okay? Oh, she looks happier. <laughs> oh, not that cranky tonight, are you? Hmm. Oh, she's so cute. Can I pet her, Yuichi? Hmm. hmm. Sure. Yuki. Now be nice to Kato, right, Yuki? There, there, Yuki. Oh my god, what a pure dog! I fucking love her! Hmm? What's this? Huh? I just noticed she has a key to attach to her collar. Hmm. Oh, that's the... That's the... Key you can use to open the padlock thingy on my choker. Oh, I've always wondered why you had a lock on your necklace, Yoichi. For you to attach this key on Yuki's collar, it must be really important to you. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's that important. My mom threw that lock set away because she said it belonged to my father. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, there is this, okay, hold on, I need to go to my analytics real quick, because there's this bitch, I just want to do a, like, a little shout out thing, you know, it's like, it's whatever, this bitch, uh, where the fuck are, like, my six comments, um, fucking, Honshu Azazuru, I don't, I'm probably butchering it, but, um, yeah, I'm probably butchering it, but he said where it was just like, cool, you'll find out about his family later on. And I'm just like, I just want to know. I'm just like, I really want to know. And then he commented with like, I'm not going to tell you shit, but I'm going to tell you that you're going to fucking hate his mom. And I'm like, okay, so if this is the point that I'm getting at where I get to learn about his family, um, cool. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> also, I've never seen anyone stand my videos more than this bitch. Uh, okay, cool. I just thought it looked cool, so I scavenged the trash and decided to wear it on me at all time, all the time. For some reason, I get the feeling that Yuichi really wishes he met his father. I know what you're thinking, dummy. And no, I don't care about my parents at all. Not anymore. So don't you dare try to do anything stupid because I'm telling you, I'm okay with what I got now. I have you, Yuki, and Camp Buddy. There's more than I ever hoped to have. <laughs> you saw right through me, Yuichi. Oh, oh. Looks like Yuki wants to sleep now. Oh. Ugh, of course. Sorry for keeping you up, Yuki. We'll go ahead now. Let's go back to the cabin. They're probably waiting for us. Right. Oh, well, at least Yuki's doing better. Hearing Yuichi say those things really reassured me. I now knew something. Some of the. Whoa. Calm down. Calm down, burps. I now know some of the things that Yuichi has gone through and realize how hard it must have been for him. But. Hearing Yuichi content with how things were showed me proof of how strong of a person he really is. Oh, and it's the next day! Oh, day 21? Yes? Maybe? Yes. 
Well, I think with that, I am going to save it right here and call it an episode. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me. What the fuck did we do this episode? <laughs> um, shit. What did we do this episode? Um. Fuck, hold on. I- I'm just gonna say that we're happy with Camp Buddy staying open for the summer. I don't remember what happened this episode. Whoops! Thanks, food! <laughs> and, uh, with that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know, help a fellow YouTuber out. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.